Life's changing and it's flipping exciting. I've just moved out in the last week or so from home for the first time and um, I've just arrived for the first I just found my parking spot in my new block of flats and cannot explain the excitement and the excitement for new things and just that's good. <laughs> so exciting. This is it. Well, at least the first load. This is the best thing. <laughs> this alarm has been going off for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> that is my housemate's alarm. And it goes off every morning for about 10 to 15 minutes. Friday, the 3rd of November. And that means it's less than a month until the end of the year of first year of medicine. I cannot believe it. It is. So flippin' exciting. But it does mean that there's six exams before then. Uh, so OSCE, the clinical observed exams, are next week, Tuesday and Thursday. And it's really a tough time for me because I'm really struggling just to study. But it's fun stuff to study and it's really enjoyable. And so it's literally just getting past that procrastination anxiety, I think. So here's me. Okay, no spinomegaly, and now I'm just going to also get a skin fold over here, and I'm going to listen to your renal arteries, okay? See if you have any renal stenosis, boy. Okay, two centimeters to the left and right to the umbilicus. It is so cool to have amazing friends. Remember the it's now 11.30. Jeez, it's so hot, I'm sweating. It's 11.30 in the evening and um, I've just finished at Sash and Waldo. And uh, Wally let me do practice my clinical skills on him, like respiratory and abdominal examinations. And then we enjoyed some coffee. And Caden is six months tomorrow, six months and two days. And he is already sitting. And he did his first mini crawl movement uh, today or yesterday. And when he pushed himself backwards. Ah, so cool. Chilling with the G. What's up, dude? Yo, boy. <laughs> What's up? It is the 8th of November. Today, my parents have been married for 20 years. And, um, yeah, special day. So, 
I am. I wrote my first. I did my first clinical exam yesterday, our third year, and tomorrow's the second one. And then a week after that's our two renal exams, and then a week after that's our two integrated final exams on testing us on the whole year's work. It's gonna be a lot. 5 a.m. on 9 November 2017. Early start to the day. Second OSCE exam today. And it's the first time in a long time that I stayed up all night. Not because I was stressing, but I don't know. Just so happened to stay up all night. <laughs> um, this is such a beautiful, beautiful view. <laughs> I just got back from my second OSCE exam, so that's a clinical exam, and it was pretty cool. OSCEs are fun, and um, it's now like 1 p.m., and yeah, life's crazy, man. That was today and Tuesday's exams, OSCE exams count 40% of our year mark, so it's a lot. Um, today we had six stations. We had a general history taking, so you have to really demonstrate your consultation skills and really show the, exa the examiner that you can really communicate effectively with a patient and really, you know, get effective information out of them and really put them first. Second thing, we had a more specific history station. So the bell rings, you go inside and then you start asking questions. There's a little debriefing before you go into the door, into the room. So it tells you outside and you have five minutes to prepare for what you're going to say. So then we went in and that person had um, vascular disease and stuff. And so you had to ask a lot of questions about that. And you have to ask the right questions and all that kind of stuff. And then the third thing, oh, it was a nice blood pressure station. You just had to basically take the blood pressure with your stethoscope and sphygmomanometer and, you know, give all the normal ranges and all of that. So that was nice and easy. And then there was a respiratory examination, so we had to examine the chest and the lungs and listen and feel and all these different kind of things. That was nice. And I had three examiners watching me in that one. And I had three examiners watching me for the IV line station where... You have to put in an IV line, so drip into a, it's at least a fake arm, but it has like fake blood running through it and vessels and everything. It's really cool, and you have to do it, demonstrate it perfectly. And um, I forgot to turn the IV off when I removed it, so I pulled it out and it was like spraying everywhere. Anyway, you need to have a laugh. And there are three examiners watching, and as soon as I stepped out, like five seconds later, they all burst out laughing because I <laughs> could still hear what they were saying. Um, and then the last thing was general examination. I did not expect a general examination whatsoever. We basically just talk about the patient, how they look well, their general features, no obvious things and going wrong. You examine the hands and the pulses and the lymph nodes and the face and stuff. But we didn't have to do all of that. They gave you specific things that we had to do. Yeah, so it was really nice. Uh, I think that's six stations I just spoke about. Then on Tuesday, two days ago, we had six other stations. That was the abdominal examination, uh, cardiovascular examination, uh, bioethics station, ethics. Uh, oh, ECG. So you have to put on ECG leads and interpret an ECG rate for them, blah de blah, all that kind of stuff. And X-ray, chest X-ray. You get given a chest x-ray and you have to interpret it and give all the normal findings and if there's any abnormal findings. And one last one. One last one. Oh, and then we had um, like asthma pumps. We had to demonstrate how to, to the patient how to use an asthma pump and we had to test their peak, peak expiratory flow rate to test how well their lungs are functioning. And then you have to plot it on a chart and stuff like that. And Yeah, so that's my GIMP one. First year of medicine, uh, clinical exams done and dusted. The next ones will be at the end of next year. I absolutely, absolutely love OSCEs, uh, the OSCE component of the year, which is all the clinical practical stuff. To me, that's what makes medicine, the course, feel so alive and so real, and I cannot wait to be able to use these 
things that we are learning in the real practice out there on real patients and whatnot. For now, it still feels a bit detached, but it's Vitz is phenomenal. I am so, 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 so grateful for all that they put into their clinical skills training of our students. It's just amazing, amazing. Vitz is the best. So I am going to sleep now for the next couple of hours and then head out to dinner with my friends. It's Waldo's birthday, baby Caden's dad. He is 30, the big 3-0. And we're going to go chill you know, for dinner in Parkview. <laughs> Happy birthday, Wally. We love you guys. You too. Success. Kitty meow. Hi. <laughs> Bye. We've been waiting for the time night too. <laughs> Bye, Kitty. Bye, Wally. Hello, Joey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's one day after my OSCE exam and about 10 days until I write again. So today it's Friday the 10th of November and I'm just taking the day off. I'm not going to study. It's been an intense week already. So I'm going to be refreshed to start studying tomorrow, Saturday, 11th of 